Hey, this is Josh from CollectionDX.com, uh, back with a robot review. It's been a while, I know. This is the Dark Lion Force Voltron by Icarus Toys, officially licensed and legal. This is sort of like the uh, Mad Toys King of Beasts, but there are some very cool tooling differences. We're going to go into the differences at the end of the video. Right now, I just wanted to show you that it comes with a lot of stuff. We are going to view each lion separately and then we will combine. So we're going to start looking at the blue and yellow lion. Of course you cannot tell that they have blue and yellow because this is Dark Voltron. So we'll call them number 4 and 5 respectively. Now one big change that you might notice between this one and the previous unlicensed version is that there are now uh, the bodies are unique. So, in the before these two were the, the same mold, they still have the same leg pieces, but there's been some improvements, and I'm going to go through some of that. The neck joint I think is a lot better than it was before, and now it rotates, something that the original did not do. It's very clicky. It's all metal. Feels very good to hold these things. Another thing that is different between this and the other release is the other release had a button to remove the leg from the combined Voltron. This just has a little tab that you push in. Tail is metal. Jaw clicks open. Both of them transform in about the same way. Both lions have the same weaponry that you can use. On the other one they were color coded. This one where they're all black and gray, they are not color coded. So you can put that weapon in the mouth. You could do that weapon in the mouth. Pretty easy. Pretty solid piece altogether, both of them. I don't feel nervous about transforming anything. I can pretty much manhandle it. Keep in mind when you're making the legs, pull it out. And that gives you a little bit of an extra joint. So you can do some really interesting poses with it. But we'll get to that when we're doing Voltron proper. And here we have the red and green lion, respectively known as three and two. Essentially the same thing a sense the other version, but now we have molded in numbers, these aren't stickers, they're molded in. And the wrists now rot I mean, rotate, or the heads, I guess they're wrists when they're lions, but they're heads here. And of course, they shoot. I notice some of the heads, I mean, all the heads are the same head, so you get four heads all together. And as far as I can tell, they're the same, but I got a really crappy paint job on this one head. Uh, one out of four, not bad. You only need two. But overall, you know, you get die cast bodies. Uh, the legs, uh, the upper parts, I think, are metal. Then clicks into place. You got a nice joint work. And the tails, two parts of metal, and the connector is plastic. Uh, the mouths open up and there are weapons for the mouth you can choose I think this one you get one of these little cross weapons or you could use one of these bladed weapons and the, they click in pretty good so they hold securely I think the black line has the most changes in terms of tooling to bring it in line with the Voltron brand it's very heavy, it's very sturdy, well, body's metal, shoulders are metal, uh, legs are mostly plastic, I believe. These top parts might be metal, it's hard to tell. But right away you got cl clicky joints everywhere. I mean, it sounds awesome, right? I'm just going to do this for like an hour. <laughs> the head uh, rotates. Clicks. You know, this is kind of a there's a double joint here, so just make sure that you have it the way you want it. 
mouth opens there is the face in there on a panel but you can sort of lift the panel up so you can have the mouth open without revealing the face as far as weapons for the black lion he's got this thing double bladed sword he's also got uh, these kind of rotating discs that pop into the arm they don't really spin but they do move and they're kind of cool and then you have these uh, blasters which on the previous version lit up by pressing the button on the back there is still a button but that electronic feature has been removed for this version and they stay in place pretty good give us some little extra firepower to your black lion so to transform the black lion just straighten the legs out sometimes they're rather stiff but that's okay fold the tail in, tail is metal wings are plastic but they have a nice if you can tell they have this little tab, these tabs on the end so you can only go so far backwards and these now um, sometimes they have little panels that you can flip the feet in this does not so these just sort of go right in and stay there which I think is perfectly fine And you can see the wings have notches in them. We now have the molded number one and WEP's copyright right on the back. And then we do the head down the face. And then we're ready to transform. The legs just go right in. The arms just plug right in and there are little notches on the side that you can use to line them up. And there you have it. So this guy is fantastic and even in combined mode he can pull off a ton of fantastic poses. It's really something special. I mean check out how great he looks. I've always liked the black versions of toys. It's a long-standing Japanese toy tradition to make a limited or special edition that sort of like has a black and gold motif. So this isn't entirely out of the ordinary. So he includes the shield. This is a nice handle. And again, there's the WEP copyright, Mad Toys, made in China. So that goes here and you can sort of force it around if you want. It hangs a little loose. Maybe I'm just not clicking it in all the way. Oh, there you go. There are an assortment of swords included. So here we have the traditional Voltron blazing sword, but it's not currently blazing. And you can see the Voltron crest on the handle, holds in the hand just fine, no problems. But what if you wanted to amp it up a little bit? You've got the on fire blazing sword. This is really great. It's it's like a translucent orange and red plastic. It looks phenomenal. It looks like it's on fire and it's pretty awesome. But there's also another sword included, which I am not quite sure about. And I think this might be something that perhaps is unique to the, uh, the black version. So you can see that there's a, another sword that has a slightly different decorative scheme. I don't know I don't think this has any proper equivalent in Voltron lore. I think this is just something that is something special done for the Dark Lion Force. And finally, we have the blazing, you know, forming the sword <laughs> equivalent. Uh, when Voltron wants to form the sword, he puts his hands together and, and it comes apart and it looks something like this. So remember those games and magazines where you have to find, like, spot the differences between the two? Well, we're kind of going to play that with these two. Uh, obviously, we have the Mad Toys unlicensed version versus the Icarus Toys 
based on Mad Toys, licensed Dark Voltron. A few things, I mean, I'm going to point out, there's probably a lot more differences than than I'm going to show you, but this is just some of the things that I've noticed while handling them. Right off the bat, look at the wings. These wings are more accurate to Voltron. These are pointy and, you know, more Voltron-like, so they're completely new wings. The whole chest piece, um, molded entirely differently. Also, the shoulders, the red carries through the shoulders now, which is all nice and new. The waist has additional detail that's missing on the original one. If you come down to the legs, you'll notice that on this version, they're basically they're the same legs, they've just colored them differently and used different sections there. Uh, on this one, they're actually, this is an entirely new sculpt for the leg, uh, for the blue lion's leg. And you'll notice now that we have molded in numbers where before we just had blank spaces. I mentioned earlier that we have swivel heads on the feet now, which we did in earlier. We have swivel uh, hands now, which we didn't have earlier. Um, also keep in mind that this version here is a pre-production version, so if I made, if I note some differences that aren't actually differences, it may be because you know, they may have fixed stuff between the time that this came out and the time that the actual version hit production. One of the differences I like to point out is the buttons on the back of the leg. So, in the past, you would have to press this button to release the lion. Now, on this version, you press the tab on the top here. So, it's re relatively easy to do. Another change, we have a copyright here now. We have a number one molded in here, which we did not have the number one molded in there. So a difference here is, uh, there are actually a couple differences to the head that I didn't notice before. One is that the teeth, uh, you see the teeth in my mouth, they're kind of round uh, and fat. And if we go to this version, you can see that they're nice and small and sharp. And also look at the area of the ears. This section here is much wider than on this section. So there are bound to be lots of different little places where they made improvements. Otherwise, aside from paint, I believe the arms uh, are the same mold, just kind of comparing right now. They look the same. The heads of the lions look like the same mold on this toy. It seems like everywhere I, I turn, I find something that was improved upon. So this Dark Lion Force Voltron is pretty remarkable. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. It's solid. It's well built. The only QC issue I had was that uh, the paint on that one head, but it was a spare head, so it's okay. Still no instructions with the toy, which is kind of a weird omission. It's pretty intuitive. I mean, transforming a Voltron is pretty much you should be able to do it in your sleep at this point if you're any kind of toy fan. I want to say thank you to the fine folks over at Icarus Toys for sending this over for us to review. If you check the in description area there'll be a link for where to buy this item. It is It has shipped. This is a production piece so it should be in stores now. This is Josh from CollectionDX.com. Thanks for watching.